Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today, we're gonna make a hamburger and cabbage soup. And it's gonna be mighty fine, I tell you. So let's get started. One and a half pounds of ground beef. And this is the 8515 that I'm using today. We're gonna start out pretty much like we do every time we cook ground beef. We're adding salt, good old cracked black pepper, a little bit of that in there. And we're just gonna mix it up with our meat chopper and start browning it. Our meat is almost browned and I'm adding one onion that I diced up. Okay, once we got our onions in there, we're gonna put a little more seasoning in there. I'm gonna put some cracked black pepper in there, a little more of that. And I'm gonna put some oregano in there. Maybe a teaspoon or so of that. And some granulated garlic. Maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon or so of that. Just gonna mix it around and let it cook for a few minutes until the onions start to get a little translucent. And while that is cooking, I have a head of cabbage right here. It's about a medium size to small head of cabbage. I'm gonna chop it up. Now the onions are translucent. We're gonna add in the better than bouillon beef, beef base, spoonful of that. You could use a chicken base if you wanted to, or just use straight up broth, chicken broth or beef broth. And right here I have two cups of water. We're gonna add that in there. And if you wanna drain some of the grease from the hamburger meat, uh, you can, it's your choice. Just gonna give that a stir, let that everything get mixed up, and start adding our cabbage. I've cut our cabbage up and just like that, good sized chunks. They all ain't uh, of equal size. Some of them's a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. We're gonna add this whole head of cabbage in the pot. And try to mix this up with that meat a little bit. If I can, this cabbage is gonna wilt down a lot. Wilt down or shrink, whatever you wanna call it. Got it mixed up the best I could. Now I'm gonna cover it with a lid and over about medium low heat, I'm just gonna let it cook for about five minutes or so. Pull the lid off of it. This cook covered for about five, six minutes. I just wanted that cabbage to shrink down a little bit before we added our other ingredients in it. 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Two 14 and a half ounce cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes. This is a four ounce can of green chilies. I'm gonna add in about half of that. I don't think I want them all in there. And you can also use Rotel instead of uh, that because uh, Rotel is just diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. And we're going to mix it up. Put the lid back on it and just let it cook over about medium low heat. And while that's cooking, I have four red skin potatoes that I'm going to dice up and I'm going to leave the skin on those. We have been simmering about 30 minutes and right there is what she's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and add the potatoes in now. You can see how I diced them. I just diced them up about one inch by half inch cubes or so. Go ahead and get all them in there. Give them a mix. Pot's about full. You could add uh, carrots, celery, if you wanted to. You add anything you want to it. It's been simmering a few minutes, probably five, ten minutes or so with the taters in it. I'm gonna taste it and see what my seasoning's like. Tastes pretty good. You got plenty of pepper and stuff in it, I believe. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I didn't add a whole lot of salt in the beginning because of the bouillon and tomato and everything. So I'm gonna add a few pinches of salt because I believe it needs it. And then I'm just gonna stir it around and put the lid back on it. Let it cook until, again, the taters are tender. Soup is done. Look at there. We simmered about 30 minutes after we put the taters in there. And they are tender now. And right there is what it's looking like. Smells so good up in here, I tell you. It's almost, it ain't too soupy. It, you probably call it a stew, I reckon. But anyways, let's fix a bowl. Here is the plated dish. Put a little parsley on top to try to make it look pretty. Now let's give it a try. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I tell you that right there is mighty fine. If you love cabbage, You'll love this. God, I love cabbage. Mm. All right, that is it for this episode. But anyways, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Cheers.